Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Simplified by Genial Shah. Today we are going to do Anacardium Oriental. We are going to cover the whole drug in four points. So this is going to be an interesting simplified version. If you haven't followed me, please follow me on Instagram. My ID is simplified.ed. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is the right time because we provide simplified versions of all Materia Medica drugs. Now, I would classify Enacardium into aggressive drugs with, with another remedies like Naxomica, Fluoric Acid, even Arsenic, where they are extremely violent. Okay, uh, now what is characteristic about Enacardium? The first point which I would and which I mean everybody knew, knows, but I will put it as second point which is two wills. Right? Second point as two wills. So the person has an angel perspective on views and a devil perspective on views. The person is always in his head conflicted. So there is an angel telling him to do things in one year and devil telling him to do things in another year. Um, you know, to be honest, I used to always wonder if I would ever find a patient with such symptom. But I did find one where the man uh, was unusually aggressive and he thought that he shouldn't fight much what he used to do was you know he used to be malicious he was very self-centered and would only see things which are in his interest if somebody tried to betray him or somebody if he, he did then he was extremely malicious towards them um you you could call them as wicked individuals uh, they don't mind cursing so they curse quite often for no reason as all, uh, at all and they're extremely short tempered so this man which i'm talking about had all of these symptoms and with this symptom we could give on any drug like naxomica or fluoric acid as well but with that he also had a conflicted state where he would he used to think that what i'm doing might not be the right thing and he would not want to be wicked but he was right so he has a little bit of guilt associated with it as well but the main thing is that when he's trying to be wicked or when he's trying to curse he also has something that in him that is stopping him but usually in anacardium the maliciousness or the devil overpowers the angel so this is the first thing uh, feels as though he has two wills one commanding to be something which the other one is forbidding and other forbidding him to do something which the other one is commanding now since there is going to be two wills there is going to be lack of self-confidence because now this guy doesn't know what to do and what is the right thing to do even after committing something like suppose he's short-tempered he's shouted on a person and now because this guy was always there he's going to regret what he said and he's now going to be able to trust himself well Okay. Um, this again is going to create a lot of confusion for him okay like confusion and another thing which it will create is forgetfulness now let me try and explain and associate this with you confusion it is very simple because he has two wills he doesn't know what to do what is right or what is wrong that will give rise to confusion uh, what the books also mention is uh, in a bit more organic manner where he doesn't know husband and child like if husband is her husband or no if child is her child or no so this is even more at a deeper level confusion but you can remember the confusion by these two points second thing is forgetfulness now what happens is if you are ideally confused whether you are supposed to do this or this after a point you might not even remember what your decision is and you are going to be slightly forgetful this is mentioned in the books as there is sudden loss of memory so most of the times uh, if you have seen any criminals who have been malicious they completely tend to forget the reason why they were malicious and they do not believe there is confusion as if they have, were the actual people to do it, right? This confusion, forgetfulness uh, shows us at the mental level as well, where the person 
tends to laugh at serious matters right and serious at laughable matters so he he is really confused as and what he has to react all these leads to lack of self confidence so this is the first symptom second thing is sensation of hoop or band around the neck okay i would like to draw this uh, around the neck there is going to be a sensation this is not nike this is a hoop so go hoop like a hula hoop so the person has a sensation of hoop around the neck this uh, we would classify as a characteristic keynote symptom when there is a hoop sensation around neck we will get similar symptoms as lachesis where the person generally doesn't want to uh, you know wear anything tight around the neck the two wills is also manifested in other place which i forgot to mention uh, which is great desire to pass stool so i will write it as here desire to pass stool but the act of passing stool is so painful uh, he firstly he doesn't want to pass and the second thing is that with effort to desire with effort like once he tries to put in the effort the desire goes away okay let me explain this point again this is the patient he has great desire to pass stool this is the first thing that has happened when he goes to pass stool and when he puts in the effort to pass stool the desire vanishes and evacuation doesn't happen he is not able to evacuate his bowels okay so again this is a two will there is confusion whether there is desire to pass stool or no whether there is an urge or no the person perceives an urge but when he tries to evacuate there is no stool okay uh, so these were two points this could uh if we have to relate it organically there could be some paralytic weakness in rectum which could be predisposing such reactions all right uh now we go on to the point number 3 which is um sensation of plug now i don't know what they mean by sensation of plug but i know what a plug looks like right so there is plug like sensation uh this is only for memory and visual memory right so there is sensation of plug this sensation is present most commonly all the sensations are present in esophagus or throat area uh and there is sensation present also in anus so what i am telling you is these four are the keynotes point there are other points as well and there is one more sensation that is all gone sensation all gone sensation right so if i have to draw a stomach here the stomach thing everything is already gone so the hunger ratio will be high he can eat anything he wakes up in the middle of the night he is going to eat and there are i mean usually we get hunger pangs as well the sudden sharp pain in the abdomen when you are hungry so this patient also get those hunger pains which is better after eating and during the process of digestion this we could relate like if there is pain which is better by eating right which condition could we think of duodenal ulcers right we also know this is a syphilitic remedy this gives us a syphilitic outlook so could ulcers be a part yes plus there is a weird sensation of plug as well hunger is there all gone sensation is there usually the patients are uh, you know anxious as if someone is following them while walking they have because of the confusion and paranoia they have this sensation that somebody is following them they are followed and while they are walking 
So if we had to sum up anacardium, which has been a really small and interesting remedy, first thing which everybody knows about the two wills, there is an angel, there is a devil. The angel is forbidding what devil says, devil is forbidding what angel says. Uh, two wills is also manifested at the symptom of stools, with stools we also write plug-like sensation in esophagus and anus. Hunger, better by eating. Uh, two wills give rise to lack of self-confidence, confusion and forgetfulness. Alright, and hoop-like sensation. So if you have seen this diagram well, okay, I think just this much portion and these four points and you are done with Allen schema. If this is not simplified, I don't know what else could be. So in case if you like the video, please hit on the like button, share it with your friends, share it with your juniors and seniors so this video can reach more and more people and subscribe to the channel for more such interesting simplified homeopathic materia medica videos.